going on everybody? Um, my name is Gabe Tora of Tora Multimedia. Um, this is my first video, so I apologize if it's like cringe or anything. <laughs> but uh, today I'm going to be taking you guys with me uh, to shoot a girls and boys basketball high school, uh, high school basketball game. Uh, girls play at 6 and it's currently 542. And then the boys will be playing shortly after around like 7 o'clock. So uh, I'm going to take you through the process of how I do things. And yeah, so uh, why don't we go ahead and head into the school. Okay, what's up everybody? So I just, my camera's, I was in there and then my camera started dying and then I forgot I left my batteries in my car so then I came to grab them. So that was the girls game. Um, I was a little nervous to like vlog in front of people so I'm a little stage shy or whatever. So I got my batteries, we're all set for the boys game. So uh, let's head on in there and uh, I'll show you how it's done. We lost by four points. That went very well in terms of photography and shooting. Like everything has gone my way. I got all the shots I wanted on video and photo. Anyways, this is my first ever time posting on YouTube of my content creation. So if my videos kind of like, or just like, what are you doing? Then that's why, but hopefully it doesn't, hopefully they're not trash, but so I'll probably start through the photos tonight. Um, I probably won't start editing till like tomorrow or something. Um, because uh, it's getting, well it's not super late. It's like 9.15, dang, okay chill. So yeah, I'll probably start through the photos tonight. Um, and I probably won't do much editing. I'll probably do some like tweaking. But I need to start through lots of footage and lots of photos because I, this is my first ever time shooting a back-to-back -back game of girls and boys. Um, so I'm really excited to see what can do. I got a lot of content to do, so thank goodness I'm on, I'm on Christmas break because it, it would take forever because I got to edit this video, I got to edit the girls. Yeah, anyways, I'll stop yapping and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start editing. All 
All right, what's going on everybody? Uh, we're back home. I loaded up the photos uh, into Lightroom. I had to move a lot of stuff around. So I started off with the boys because they had more photos. Uh, so I just want to get that out of the way. But yeah, so I, I, started, I loaded the boys' photos into Lightroom and I started editing. Um, let's go to our recently added here. So the, this is the whole collection. Um, so I think it was about like 120 photos and out of the 120, yeah, so a couple things when I edit basketball pictures um, is I always make sure to fix first. It's always the white balance, noise, and the exposure, like, ish. So the thing with, like, gyms, usually gyms tend, are, like, always really warm, especially with Williston because their school colors are orange, so there's a lot of orange, which means it's way, way more warm. And so... That causes people's skin to sometimes look a little too orange. Then I have to go in and adjust the white balance. So I'll show you how I did that. So if we come here um, and we're looking here, so for instance, like like this, right? So this coach, his stuff is really orange, but I, I tried to tweak his skin here. And so, yeah, but let's go to a better example. Let's go to this one, right? So this is, I mean, this is un, completely unedited, uh, and this is what it looks like. And then if we turn the editing on, it looks like that. Now, I know you're saying like, oh, you know, all you have to do is press a button, and then you just throw it in to make it look better. But say what you want. To get these shots, it can be quite challenging, especially in a gym. And for them to actually turn out good and not all grainy, it can be a challenge. So, respectfully. Anyways, um, why don't we go ahead and start editing. So... So let's add this picture of Zay. Um, he basically recreating the Air Jordan logo here. Yeah, I, I was really proud of this shot. So, but uh, so let's come in here. The first thing I do is I correct the white balance. So usually what I do is I click this right here, that little uh, color dropper, and then I zoom in, and then I click the whitest part of the entire image. And sometimes like, like see that now it's too cool. So, but it helps like it, and then I just drag it a little back there. And it looks green, so it's, there we go. So that's that's looking better already. So before, after, and you, and a, a lot of times you don't realize like how orange things are until you correct the white balance. Like look how orange this looks versus now. It's still a little blue, so maybe we can pull it this way a bit. There we go. So like big difference to make all the colors look neutral and not swaying to cool side. But if that's your look, if you're looking going for a cooler or a warmer look, then you do you. But for me, I just like a neutral look because it's just easier um, to look at and everything. Sometimes um, on uh, darker skinned people, um, their skin tends to get a little like flat and colorless when um, you're shooting in these games because uh, for the lighter toned people, um, the light's shining on their skin and they gleam pretty easily. So it's not that hard. You can keep yours. But... For instance, Zay, he has a darker skin tone than versus like this guy, player behind him. So we usually, so usually skin tones tend to be either orange or yellow. So then I turn up luminance on the orange a bit. And as you can see, that kind of, that kind of brought his skin more and turned up a, a lot of other things as well. So let's come down here and let's zoom into our image and dang, that is noisy. Now, one thing that helped me a lot when I shot my Rebel that had horrible low light performance, I would use this Denoise AI. But the thing is it can take like two to three minutes and I don't feel like waiting two to three minutes on every photo. So sometimes I just use the manual noise reduction, turn it up. And then what I do to compensate for the loss of like detail, you know how it looks really soft right now, is I bring up the texture and the clarity. And so it still looks like it has texture and not it's like all super like soft and washed out. But one major thing that helped me so much and editing at like at late night football games or in poor light poor lit gyms is the curve if you can master the curve you can do so many things it is literally the most powerful feature in Lightroom so let's get into it so first I'm gonna make my three points there highlights midtones shadows and if you don't understand any of this it's okay I'm just showing my process so basically so darker middle lighter tones okay so basically whites grays and blacks if you want to put it into colors so i always go to the midtones and i bring it up now not too much like that's a lot so already what that does is it just brings light and color into the photo and i learned that because there was a 
I didn't learn it from him, but I was like, back in Minot, there was a school photographer by Mason Kramer. Shout out to him, he's the best. Um, I always wondered, I don't know if this is what he does, okay? Maybe, his, he also has a Canon R5, which is really powerful. But he would always have this vibrant look and these, the, everything was so well lit. And I'm like, how does he do it? Like, I know the gym lighting does not look that good. But then I was playing around with the curve tool one day and I was like, okay, I'll just bring that up. And then it gives us more vibrant look to the photo. Now, as you can see in some parts, it's a little too light, but I mean, look at this. So before, after, it adds contrast, it adds, I don't know. It just makes everything look great. So now we have that. Now we're gonna come down here and these, these lights, if you click on J on the keyboard, it'll show you it'll highlight the ones that are peaking, like hardcore, meaning like spikes of way over white or way over black. So up here, but honestly, it's not a big deal because those are just lights. Um, there's no peaking on Zay, so that's all, all that matters. So now, uh, I always come down to the effects tab and I play with the dehaze because the dehaze can do a lot, but we don't need to play with that much. And then, yeah, so now another key to having like editing these photos is keep these highlights up because the highlights are already like down in the gym. So we want them to keep them up. So honestly, I think this is looking pretty good. Um, I just want to let you guys know, I am not a professional at editing. So I bet you if a professional looked at this, they would be like, what are you doing? That does not look good, but this doesn't look bad. I would take like a brush mask and go over the top uh, on those top lights there, but I don't really think it's a big deal. So yeah, and then maybe, yeah, maybe if we bring these shadows up a bit more. So there we go. And there we go. And then we're just gonna export it to the folder with the new watermark, with the new logo. If you guys haven't already watched my reel on Instagram, that's the new logo. So that is that. That is basically the process on a lot of uh, my photos. Um, of course, not all of them. But here, if we go, we did. I did do two black and whites in this collection here. So we have a black and white of him running. And then I have one of Bridger about to shoot a free throw. That's basically what I do. To sum up of this video, um, for sports photos, white balance, um, deal with some noise, and get your exposure, like make sure, check the lighting. It's okay if your thing looks trash when you first take it. But if you wanna make it actually look good, um, you got to edit it and I know back then they didn't edit their photos, but it's a new time Blah blah blah. Anyways, I'm just completely going off topic here and yapping. Anyways, um, I know There's not much to it, but that is the, my editing process and how I throw things in Lightroom and uh, I also have um, I was gonna show you guys how I edit the video, but I think I'll save that for another video of how I edit sports videos But um, yeah, this is just a simple video and if you've never heard of me then now you know who I am. I'm from Williston, North Dakota. I'm a junior in high school. Um, I used to live in Minot, so it's nice that I can grow in two cities because I go back to Minot still every now and then and I also shoot here in Williston, North Dakota. But so yeah, if you haven't, if you wanna, when these release, these photos will probably be released before this video comes out. So if you wanna check out these photos, go to my website. Uh, it's linked in my about page on my channel and it also is linked in the description. So go check out the collections for boys and girls of course um the girls photos will be crazy as well so but yeah girls and boys photos they'll be released on my website and they'll be posted on my instagram which is also in the description below and uh, that's all i have for you guys today um just a short little introductory uh video for my business and my channel so uh if you made it to the end i appreciate you and if you want if you're watching this video and you want me to come out and take pictures for you go to my website and you can check out my rates as well so until then I'll see you guys in the next video.